Welcome back for more water sports action on this latest edition of NC Sports Weekly News. In the lineup, the Extreme Sailing Series launches its 2015 season at the Dusseldorf Boat amid new entries and some prestigious defection. Top-seeded athletes of the New World Surf League face drama as a Sally Fitzgibbons and Tyler Wright get a taste of the ocean's true power in Australia. Also from Victoria, Australia, senior correspondent Sebastian Destremont reports on Peter Burling's huge foiling win at the Moth World Championships. For the 34th of Singapore Open as the very best meet for the Asian and Surfing Championship. And a Lake 3 and Sanya for the Volvo Ocean Race, Cordelier and Dong Feng make their strongest statement yet in Hainan Island and have now become the boat to, to beat. NC Sports plunge into the action. The Extreme uh, Sailing Series uh, released its new season calendar last week at the boat, uh, Dusseldorf's renowned annual boat show. Some well-known faces and some new ones attended, as nine teams representing seven nations confirmed entries in this prime world-class uh, stadium racing format. However, following last year's uh, stellar lineup, uh, perhaps the biggest news for 2015 were the many prestigious absences. Above all, the current world champions of Team Alinghi. In 2013 winners and 2014 runners-up, uh, the Wave Muscat, are back with Leigh McMillan and Sarah Ayton. British multiple world match racing champion Ian Williams and his DAC Pindar crew have reconfirmed. Hagara's Austrians on Red Bull will also be there, as well as the Danes on SAP. Gazprom's uh, Team Russia will try to narrow the experience gap after their first uh, try in 2014 and a very successful St. Petersburg stopover for the circuit. The team has added new players on board, including Italian sailor Alberto Barovier, winner of America's Cup 33 on Oracle Racing. Oman Air, team led by yet another Briton, Stevie Morrison, also confirmed its debut, and the Middle Eastern nation will now boast two squads in the series. Turkey and Italy will be the new EXSS rookies for 2015. Team Turks, led by actor sailor Edhem Dervana, will be backed by Aussie legend Mitch Booth. While Team Italia will be racing on Lino Sobego with a highly experienced pro skipper as Lorenzo Bressani. Eight acts have been confirmed for the upcoming season starting in February. Singapore, Muscat, Qingdao, Cardiff, Hamburg, St. Petersburg, Istanbul and Sydney. As expected, with the AC World Series officially kicking off on the foiling 45s of this June in Cagliari, Emirates Team New Zealand, Ben Ainsley's BAR and Francama with Groupama will now begin their long America's Cup 35 campaign towards 2017. In all fairness, except for the Kiwis, the above did struggle on the complex Extreme 40 regatta format. The biggest uh, surprise, however, has been Alinghi's defection after another exceptional winning season with American skipper Morgan Larson. No news, of course, or rumors of them uh, joining Larry Ellison and Russell Coots at the AC World Series. The current uh, title holders of the Extreme Sailing Series, led by arch-rival Ernesto Bertarelli, announced that they will be concentrating instead on the 2015 Volcane Trophy with the D35 Catamarans. Swiss compatriots of real team and third-place finishers in 2014 with Jérôme Leclerc have also followed suit. Get the full story and the comments from Dusseldorf on the next NC Sports Buzz, premiering this Saturday at 5 p.m., only on Nautical Channel.
the girls of summer had their shares of nasty encounters in early 2015. Australian superstars Sally Fitzgibbons and uh, Tyler Wright, respectively world numbers uh, 4 and 2 of the New World Surf League, now definitely have some pretty dramatic stories to share for the season. First, it was Fitzgibbons, who traded her holiday rest for some real sailing action at the last of Sydney Hobart, one of the toughest offshore races in the world. Previously tested in the Extreme Sailing Series, Sally this time was invited to join the Perpetual Loyal Crew with other Australian sports greats like Olympian and America's Cup winner Tom Slingsby as well as pro boxer Danny Green. However, with just a 20 hours into an extremely tight race against the purebred racers, Wild Oats 11, winner of 2015, and the brand new Comanche, this 30-meter Super Maxi reportedly hit something underwater possibly a larger sunfish which seriously compromised the hull. On a survival mode, a skipper Anthony Bell and his crew could not properly assess the damage while at sea and were thus reluctantly forced to retire back into Sydney's Rose Bay port. Fortunately, no injuries were reported on board, but the scare was very real. In what was supposed to be a relaxed competition in her home waters, the first surfing event of the season also spelled a terror for Tyler Wright. Fighting for her club colors at the Australian board riders battle in Cronulla, the world number two was twice washed over by the waves onto the rocks and into the safety chain fence of a local ocean pool. Brother and fellow World Surf League competitor Owen Wright was first to the rescue and assisted a bumped, bruised and scared Tyler through the medical checks and the precautionary trip to the hospital. Next, more from Australia at the Foiling Moths World Championships with senior correspondent Sebastian Destremont. Yeah, I'm oh, absolutely stoked to go out with a, with a bit of a bang there and manage to take that last race. Kiwi sailor Peter Burling leaves Sorrento, Australia with the 2015 International Moth World Championship title. 159 skippers from all over the world gathered in Australia to have a go at the title, but the championship belonged to Burling and Burling alone. It's been, uh, it's been pretty cool to be honest, to be able to, to just line up against all the boys. Um, yeah, a lot of us sail different boats and, and do different things in their spare time, but it's, yeah, it's been amazing to be able to race them all, all this week. Line wins from a possible 14 is quite extraordinary, especially considering the fragile nature of these boats. Burling attributes his break-free week to spending loads of time working on his boat with the help of his Kiwi teammates. Uh, cool thanks to all the other Kiwi boys. Uh, Great help this week and uh, this has been amazing. On the windy and bumpy course on Port Phillip, Burling finished the world in the style he started it with a bullet. Singapore took a center stage during the weekend as top-ranked athletes hit the water for the 2015 Asian Windsurfing Championship, one of the main events on the regional calendar. With over 10 nations represented at this 34th edition of the Singapore Open, sailors competed on the RSX, on the RS1, Techno 293, Formula and Race Board classes. China also made a debut at the event with its powerful world-class team. Proceedings uh, kicked off with gusts uh, pumping over 34 knots for the first day of racing and then dwindled into a mix of tricky moderate wind conditions, making matters all that more tactical. Among the top results, Nathafong von Nofarat from Thailand uh, secured the gold medal in the men's RSX Olympic class, while Japan's uh, Kensei Ikeda captured the women's uh, series. Hong Kong Chen Kuo Fai won it all in RS1. 
Hong Thelen Ho from Myanmar and Dong Zhao Guan from China took respectively the junior and youth division wins on the Techno 293. While Britain's Chris Newman got his gold in Formula Windsurf. Some victories do count more than others, and if there was one leg that Team Dongfenga truly needed to win, it had to be this one, number three, from Abu Dhabi to Sanya on the island of Hainan. It's still six, le six legs to go, so we just take a leg by leg, and uh, it's very easy to finish uh, five. Uh, I think Brunel is going to do a bad leg. Uh, okay. Not so good leg, uh, you can lose points very quick. So everybody is very close. We have won this leg, which I think we couldn't do better than win this leg. Finish at home, finish in our base in Sanya, so it's fantastic for, uh, for, for China, for Chinese seller, for China project. Well, we are very happy about that. Charles Caudrelier's Franco-Chinese crew are the true revelation of this Volvo Ocean Race 2014-2015. They've already made their statement and their intentions quite clear from the onset, with second places in leg one from Alicante to Cape Town and again in leg two to the Emirates. With this latest result in Chinese waters, they have now leaped into first position on the overall VOR leaderboard. This was a demanding 4,600 nautical mile challenge across the Indian Ocean, the complex crossing of the Malacca Straits, and an equally demanding ascent up through the South China Sea. Tackling light winds with constant sail changes and with a pack at close distance, it all came down to impeccable navigation strategy, and the Dongfeng crew never faltered. Especially so off the coasts of Vietnam, when the tacking duel became a real battle of the nerves. Closing with a historic result for a Chinese sailing team, Dongfeng completed leg three in 23 days, 13 hours and 31 minutes, entering the port of Sanya just a handful of miles ahead of Abu Dhabi Racing and the Americans on Alvi Medica, respectively in second and third places. EOR 65 crews will now take a quick rest and then take part in the local import races program before setting sail again for Lake 4 towards Auckland, New Zealand, some 5,000 nautical miles to the southeast. Follow the official Volvo Ocean Race updates on Nautical Channel for the complete story, premiering every Saturday at 9 p.m. It's not over as more superb and timeless yachts are arriving in Fort de France following their fabulous Atlantic Ocean crossing for the 2015 Transat de Classique. Martinique is gearing up for the greatest sailing party of the year and Nautical Channel is already there with kitesurfing champion and host Bruno Schroca for a very special half-hour presentation coming this March 2nd at 9 p.m. And remember, this is Saturday at 5 p.m., the NC Sports Buzz brings you all the insight on the next Extreme Sailing Series, with highlights and commentary from the players at the recent boat in Dusseldorf. Plunge into the action with NC Sports. <laughs>